Hey everybody, and welcome back to my Dream Machine 2. Today we're going to be making this really cute zipper purse. This is one of my favorite things that I've done. I made a lemon one, I made a lime one, and I made a watermelon one. And today we're going to do an orange one. Now this is the medium size, and we are going to make one a little smaller. So, I have my 5x7 hoop already. I have a little bit of tearaway in it. Now, I switched over to the sewing machine and I made the straps. Now, there's very good instructions for the straps, but there's mine. And to set those aside. So that's the first thing that you do once you pick your fabric. Um, before you do anything at all, I highly recommend that everyone print out the instructions. Now, they're easy to follow. Look, there's a lot of pictures and they show you, for example, the strap. Sweet Pea shows you exactly, precisely how to do it. So you shouldn't have any problems with that. They show you everything that you need to know. So print out your instructions. Again, this design is from Sweet Pea. Thank you, Sweet Pea, for the amazing designs. So let's follow it step by step. Let's get at it. Oh, another thing that you should do before I get to stitching is pre-cut your fabric and your batting. They give you, right at the beginning of the instructions, they give you the exact size of everything that you need to cut out to start. And it really is a time saver. Do all your cutting and ironing and then get ready and stitch all at once and it goes super fast and it's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to use this orange thread. I've got it loaded up. Um, normally I would use something a little less bright, but I want you guys to be able to see the stitching. So I'm going to do all the outlining and everything with uh, orange so you can see it. it. It should hopefully blend in, but you never know. All right, so let's get stitching. You guys are going to love how this comes together. Okay, following along with the instructions and uh, keeping with that, the first step that we're going to do is put the zipper in. So easy enough, let's go. Now the zipper goes zipper side up, right side up. Don't worry about the extra, just get it lined up as better as you as best as you can. And we're gonna use a little tape, just tape a rooney. Is to stitch the zipper to the stabilizer. So let's rock and roll on that one. Now carefully take the tape off. Make sure you don't pull stuff too much. Okay, so now we're going to work on the short side, the top of the bag. So this is the, the smaller end. And you want to line this up right as close as you can to the center of the zipper. And once you get that, I've got it on this end, once you get it, just tape everything in place. This is painter's tape I'm using, and that helps out quite a bit. If you need to take it off the hoop, go for it. So the next part is the big part. Now I am using batting because I like how it looks. So you want to iron this down just a little bit and tuck the batting right up to the nice uh, line that you ironed. And again, we're going to line this guy right up so they meet. And again, if you the more perfect you make it, look at how perfect that is. Give it a little tape along the seam here. We don't want them to overlap, but we want them to meet perfectly. Now 
remove the tape. Now you notice I stitched right through the tape and it doesn't actually matter. And I'm using the same tape that I started off with, so that's a great thing about painter's tape. It works really well, and it's awesome. All right, that looks really good. The next step is we're going to do a triple stitch to hold everything down really nicely. Okay, so the next step is only if you used batting, then what we want to do is take this out and we want to cut out this part of the backing only. So I'm going to go ahead and do that very carefully. Turn your hoop over and this is how it should look on the back and you have to be really careful doing it that you don't pull anything out and make sure you put your hoop back in the right way it can only go one way but you know I'm just saying it anyways there we go and let's get ready now we are going to do the decorative stitches Here we are for part two, the cute part. I hooped my tearaway stabilizer and I'm just going to put my pre-cut. This is just thin batting, nothing fancy. I'm going to put it there. Again, I'm going to use orange thread. And the first thing that you need to stitch out is to stitch the batting down. Now straight up we're going to stitch the, this is just to tack it down, straight up we're going to stitch another line, this is the placement line for the pit. And this is the fabric that I'm using for that, and of course everything uh, fits in perfectly because you pre-cut it. So let's stitch that down. Then we just want to trim that fabric. Leave the fabric up here, but you want to trim it around. Next is the placement line for the wedges. Make sure you have everything covered. <laughs> 